bring your spirit upon this community right now in the name of Jesus. In a time of distress, God, I ask that you pour your spirit upon this community, God. We break and bind the enemy in the name of Jesus, God. We bind all confusion right now in the name of Jesus. Greetings, beloved. The title of this message that I want to bring here before you is Dealing with the Wall of Jericho. Dealing with that wall of Jericho of hate. Dealing with that wall of Jericho of bitterness. Dealing with the true wall that is behind the pain and the despair that we are seeing all around us. I'm reminded by a mentor of mine And the quote that she used is, we miss the beauty that is us. And rightfully so, because the scripture tells us that greater is he that is within us than he that be in the world. The beauty should be the agape love of Christ. The beauty should be the love, should be the hope, should be the restoration. Sometimes we pray about a particular thing without recognizing that that very thing that we're praying about, God has installed it on the inside of us. The same comfort that God has put on the inside of us, we are to display that same comfort and edification. We have a hard time showing love because we haven't dealt with that wall. Some of us have seen this wall and we choose not to get real with it. We choose not to deal with it. We try to mask it up. And we're not truly comforting and edifying one another. We're not speaking to the ills of mankind because we are self-centered. We have become a people of selfishness. We have lost the greatness of the greater one on the inside of us. We have allowed the enemy to bewitch our mind. That is why we cannot, that is, that is why we're so dismissive. That is why we, we, we can sit back and we can see tragedies happen and we're not moved with empathy. We're not moved with compassion. Because we haven't, we, we haven't, we haven't really 
had a one-on-one -on -one with ourselves in the mirror. Michael Jackson had a song that said, Man in the Mirror. This wall that is up, this border that is up, why have we chosen to not deal with it. Brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, body of Christ, body of believers. It's easy to point the finger at the politicians. It's easy to point the finger at the government. If greater is he that is within us than he that is in the world, where do we take account for how we treat and love each other? This very book that we read, the Bible, The scripture that we often quote for God so loved the world. What's lacking is the love. If we want to see change, if we want to see healing, if we want to see revival, if we want to see restoration, it is not going to be this denomination. It is not going to be social economic status. It is not going to be about your, your denomination. It's not going to be about whether or not if you're a Republican. It's not going to be about whether or not if you're a Democrat or if you're a Libertarian. What it's going to take is for you to have the love of God. If you have love for God, then you will have love for mankind. It, it, it's time to do a self examination. It's time for a moral cleansing of the mind and the heart. It's time to get to the root of the thing. Business as usual has got to cease. We cannot continue to operate in the same cycles, the same habits. God didn't create us to sit back and just look at the issues of mankind and not deal with it. No, he did not. He called us to breathe life. He called us to comfort. He called us to uplift. He called us to, 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 to speak to the ills of man. He called us to bind the enemy. He called us to overtake. He called us to conquer. He called us to operate like a Victorian. He called us to take dominance in the earth. We are without excuses. It's time out for business as usual. It's, it's time to go to the next level. It, it, it's time for us to shift. It's time for us to transform. When are we going to step up and take our rightful places as the kings and queens that he has called us to be? When will the saints truly rise up? When will the saints just not choose to fight for to stop abortion? But when will the saints actually step up to the plate 
and take care of the orphans? When will the true saints actually step up to the plate and feed the homeless? Not just on a holiday, not just when it's Thanksgiving, not just when it's Christmas. When are we going to love people into righteousness? When are we going to edify? When are we going to comfort? When are we going to get out of these cliques? When are we going to start supporting people in public and not just private behind closed doors? When are we going to get out of this shame, out of this guilt? Some of us, we're not, we're, we're, we're not addressing the ills of mankind because we're worried about image. We're worried about image instead of what God said, instead of what thus said the Lord. Well, I'm not going to speak on that because so-and-so may look at me a certain way. I may be deemed as a troublemaker. If you call yourself a conqueror, You are to get into good trouble. To edify. To comfort, to uplift, to, to restore, to, to uplift, to rebuild, to heal, to mend. It's time out. It's time out for business as usual. We should be addressing these principalities that is in our land, the gun violence. We need to take back our communities. We need to come and set the standard and the standard is the kingdom standard. We need to get out of these cults. We need to get out of these, the, 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 these entities that's allowing our vision to be distorted, that is allowing our hearing to be stopped. It, 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 it's time. It's time. We're beyond excuses. Do we have to do? Are we going to be like Pharaoh who did not listen? Finally, when you know, it, it, it took all these different plagues to get his attention. What is it going to take for us to stand up and to operate in true agape love? When is it going to, what is it going to take for us to manifest kingdom? Here on earth as it is in heaven. When are we going to subject ourselves to the spirit of the living God? What is it going to take to shift how we move, how we operate? It's time to amend our hearts. It is time to get into the prayer closet. It's time to overtake. It's time to bind the enemy.
It's time to declare on earth as it is in heaven. It's time to be what God has called us to be. It's time to take over. It's time to manifest heaven on earth. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but we wrestle against principalities, rulers of darkness in high places. Brothers and sisters, this is a time to fast to pray, to get into the presence of God. This is a time to hide in the palm of God's hand. It's time to knock out these excuses. It's time to stop coming up with excuses in which why we can't become the change that we want to see. We know this is a spiritual fight. But this is a fight that we have to conquer. This is a fight. This is a fight that we will win with God's help. time it is life hope project we getting prepared for our beloved men the fellas the hope project getting hygiene products and whatnot getting stuff together I know what time it is I'll see how we do With all this killing going on, pray for our children. We, we want to live. live. Things ain't the Brothers same and no sisters, more. They got to kill the kids. Got to play it safe give. these days before we you leave. We have a good. deadline to meet within the week. Um, we have a community that needs to be fed. Uh, we have a deadline uh, of a budget amount of one hundred and fifty dollars, uh, so that we can be able to. Uh, obtain over a hundred pounds of food to be able to uh, disperse at Walker Mill uh, community in located in Prince George's County, Maryland. Um, we have the community that we need to take care of. Uh, we have children, we have kids, we have elders, elders and seniors over in that community that need our help. So please, if you can reach out uh, to us or if you want to cash at, you can do that too as well. Y'all remember, we all we got, we all we need. Each one reach one, each one help one, each one love one. We have got to be the change that we want to see. Peace and blessings.